Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and I want to share with you today how you can create graphic designs for your social media posts. Sometimes when you go about making your posts, you're, do you find yourself going and, and creating a new one for every single social media platform? And it ends up being time consuming. So I'm going to show you how you can reuse some of your posts on different platforms. And I'll give you some examples of how other people have done it as well. And then I'm going to give you a tool that you can use to actually create the designs and it will actually go in and resize them depending on what social media platform that you're using. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the things that I like to do when I make graphic designs is I like to try to make the same thumbnail, for instance, like I use YouTube, obviously, and then I take it and I will use it again for like a blog or something like that. Let me give you an example of someone who's really good with branding and has really across the board used uh, their different posts and different uh, graphics for everything. I, I, I follow Neil Patel. He's very good with branding. Anything you see with these colors, you're going to know it's Neil. And here's an example of his blog. On his blog, he has this thumbnail, and this is what he used on his YouTube, and he just brings it in. Now, he sets up his blog like this. I'm going to show you how mine's set up. I do the same thing. I bring in my thumbnails and use them as part of my blog. He uses it as part of the heading of his blog instead of within the blog. So there's different ways that you can do that. He also, if you go to his YouTube channel, his thumbnails are pretty consistent in, in his branding, and you will see these same thumbnails on his Instagram account, on Twitter, and on his blog. And you can just take that same picture that you've created and use it for different things, is what I'm trying to get to <laughs> get at for you. And here he is on his Twitter account, and you can also see that you know he, he has some um, different quotes that he puts on here, but then he brings up his different YouTube channels or YouTube videos and uses them here. Okay. So let me give you an example here is where I have used, this is one of my blogs and in the blog, I take my YouTube channel. I have the transcript of the whole video done, a whole transcription done where it's in written form and then have I have somebody go in and fix it into a blog and edit it and, and add to it and things like that but then we always add the video as well and the reason I do that two twofold one I want people to be able to read if they like to read or print it off because a lot of people sometimes will save your blog you know you've done that yourself and I also like to have it as audio for those people who don't want to read and they just want to listen and maybe multitask and do something else at the same time. So it kind of takes care of two different audiences. A lot of people will do that with a podcast as well. They might add their podcast to their blog and it's just audio. So that's one of the reasons that you definitely want to include as much as you can in there. Now, here's an example too. I also take my YouTube um, videos and I then put them on my Facebook. And you can see again, I have um, my thumbnail shows up. It's right there for my Facebook. I don't have to worry about bringing something else. Now you can do the same thing for your Twitter account, for your, um, your Pinterest account, LinkedIn, wherever you have your social media posts. One of the things that I wanna show you is the tool that I use where I create my different thumbnails and my different graphics is here in a, a program called get stencil and I just went and grabbed something out of the folder real quick but this is a video that I had made and I was standing outside the goats were in the background it was a beautiful day and I just kept this video now what is with this one picture in my video now I can use this video this picture this graphic for anything I can make a thumbnail out of it I can put a quote on top of it I can um, put something on it that will maybe lead somebody to my blog and put it on Pinterest so use pictures of yourself for your graphics because people want to know who you are and then just keep reusing them over and over again especially if you're making videos there's a tool that you can go in it's in vidIQ or TubeBuddy they both have it where you can make your thumbnail in there and it actually has a tool in there where you can go through each frame one by one and then pick the picture that you want you don't have to run it real fast and try to stop it and you know all of that or have a, an expensive editing program you can just go in go very slow one little arrow key at a time and then pick that perfect picture that you want that um, for your thumbnail and i've got um two buddy down there for you if you want to look at look it up um, they have a free trial all right so here 
I have my picture and let's go here to icons. You can upload, there's a um, right here on the left, it says upload. You can upload any graphic designs that you want. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and hit icons where we can add an icon. So you can pick any of these to add over here to your picture. You can change the color, you can put um, text inside the box. So everything right here, you can have it go vertical if you want or horizontal. I can change my box color if I want to um, make it blue. So anything that I want to put on there, I can do with that. Now, one of the tools that I like is down here, there's a whole bunch of quotes. If you can't find a quote or think of a quote, you can go right here. Get Stencil has hundreds, thousands of them. I think it says search for 100,000 quotes. So you can find all kinds of different quotes here. And I'm just going to, oh, that's a good one um, right here. We can go ahead and take that quote. Now see, you can't really see it well on this picture, so I can go in and change my text color to white so that it can be seen easier. There you go. And maybe I don't want it to go across as much. Maybe I want it to be you know, more of a square. And oh, let's change that too as well. I always like to give the person who wrote the quote the credit. And maybe I want to put that at the bottom instead of the top, okay? So I can do that. I can write my own quote if I'd like. I can just pick up a text box. Um, if I go over here to the right, there's add text, and I can come in here and add my own text. See that? Play with my photo, okay? I can change it by making it black and white if I'd like, and then if I want, I can go back and make that font a different color. This one's pretty cool. It says 1977, and you can go ahead and make it look old. See, the pictures actually came out like that. Um, that's actually the year I graduated from high school, and all my pictures from that time really look like that. So I think it's pretty cool that you can make your picture look older if you would like to. I like the black and white, actually. I think that looks pretty cool. So that's what you can do um, to change all of your um, graphics and keep reusing them. I keep mine all in a folder here in Get Stencil so that I can just pull them up. I have another folder on my desktop. If I forget to put one in here, I can go back and get that. Sometimes I'll just go through a video. If I feel like it was a video that I liked some of the photos in there, I'll just kind of take the time to go through and take some of the shots and save them. That's probably um, a good idea because then you have a lot of different shots to, to pull from when you're ready to make your graphics and your different posts. So I have the link down below for Get Stencil. They do have a free trial, you can use that. But I have found this is one of my favorite ones to use and I've got the link down below for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Let us know what graphic design tool you're using. There are a lot of them out there and um, you know, share them with us so that we can try them out and find out what's the best one. But there you go, I hope you have a good day and don't forget to subscribe before you leave.